Good morning, beautiful people. It's the weekend. It's Saturday, and welcome to well, it would be like either Saturday or Sunday, but welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Beaded Berserker. Uh, uh, uh. I'm glad you copy before we start. Put that up there so I don't throw it over myself. So yeah, hope you guys are keeping. Whoever you are, I hope you're keeping safe and well wherever you are, whatever you've been up to, which is probably not much, even though we're now allowed to go outside and apparently shops will be open from Monday. So yeah, before I get started, thank you. Thank you. I say this each and every single time and I actually really mean it. Considering it's just me, an old bloke sat in front of his iPad, trying his damnedest to help promote, support and advertise only small brands, individuals and craftsmen out there that are making some amazing amazing products so we really need to help and support these small brands and individuals as much as we possibly can because it means a lot to them and it helps them out far far more than these huge massive faceless brands so yeah thank you because there's no intros there's no outros all of my reviews that I do on this channel completely unscripted apart from a few bullet points that I have in front of me they're all completely honest because I the same as you guys I'm a consumer and there is nothing worse than well, there'd be nothing worse for me than sit there and go, oh, this is amazing, you should go out and have a look at this. And you go out and buy one and go, well, what was he on about? So all the reviews are completely honest, completely unbiased, and everything I do is my own honest opinion. As always, links down below in the description box, so please show some support, give them a help and a follow. So this morning's completely unbiased, a bit of Berserker YouTube channel, uh, YouTube review, has been very, very kindly sent through from Crooked Curiosity, based in Hampshire, in here in the UK. And basically, they've sent through one of their sort of handmade things for me to have a look at and see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion. Now, I'm all into strange, bizarre, and wonderful. And these guys basically do entomology art. We'll go into that in just a second. They also support um, the supporting the butterfly conservation here in the UK. All of their products are ethically sourced. They are family run and all of their products are A grade specimens and they are on Etsy. Links will be down below in the description box. So a couple of days later, a package arrived. It was, and I have to admit the package packaging on this was absolutely spot on everything was so carefully um, kind of packaged and put together nothing had broken or anything like that so really really nice um, this is the box it came in this is the logo there crooked curiosity and also there was a care sheet as well in an envelope on the front and again this is there business card hopefully the camera's doing that justice and picking that up right please give them some support and uh, help and a follow they do butterflies moths beetles and other exquisite artifacts um to matt thank you for taking the time to review us uh ren and ben ready and ben thank you so much for sending that i actually keep all of these i have a box just down there with all the letters that i've ever been sent in this is the care sheet that they sent through thank you for your purchase we I uh, hope you're happy with everything, but if there's anything wrong, we have any issues of any kind, please contact us directly through Instagram, our Etsy site, Facebook, or via WhatsApp. Please bear in mind that entomology specimens are fragile, and while we package them as robustly as possible, they certainly did. They turned up in tip-top mint condition. Um, as robustly as possible, sometimes an antenna or leg might break off or move in transit. You might also find some dust within the frame. You can carefully open the frame and clean inside using a wet wipe or duct cloth. Um, if you want to reattach the antenna or leg, use a dab of PVA glue. We take every care to keep the specimens as perfect as possible up to the point it's posted. Turn up amazing. Caring for your specimen below are a couple of pointers to ensure your specimen stays in tip top condition. Uh, basically avoid displaying them in direct sunlight. Direct sunlight kills just about anything. Um, as this can fade, discolour it. Also lead to the specimen becoming very brittle, increase the risk of it falling apart. Museum beetles, it's very rare you'll encounter these. 
but if they get into your frame they will destroy the specimen you don't want that we leave all our frames unsealed due to cleaning repairing if required but if you're worried about the pesky beetles getting in you can use thick tape or silicon sealant on the reverse of the frame ensuring there are no gaps we are a small family run business and take pride in delivering good customer experience which i have the customer service with these guys been absolutely phenomenal it's so nice to see it when people are so passionate about what they're doing I feel it comes across in my videos how passionate and how much I love doing what I'm doing here. And super fast postage. Um, if you're happy with our service and us and your specimen, we'd greatly appreciate it if you would leave us a five star review. Any questions, reach out to any of us, uh, any of our channels. They're on Instagram, Etsy. Uh, there's text only telephone and Facebook. There you go. So they do all sorts of stuff. And on my phone here, I've just got a bit about them, which I want to get in because these guys really deserve it. Okay, Crooky Curiosity is a husband and wife team uh, thought up by Ren and Ben. Or it was Ren and Ben. There you go. Uh, Ren is the artist and Ben deals with more of the business side of things. Ben started collecting framed insects, but unfortunately had a very bad customer experience with the larger entomology seller. Ben felt that he could provide a better service and with Ren being a creative soul, um, Crooked Curiosity was born. Crooked Curiosity will only use ethically sourced insects who have died naturally in the wild or captively. A lot of people will buy uh, from you, from use their money. Uh, a lot of the people they buy from use the money to help the local ecosystem and save insect species around the world. The reason a lot of butterflies and moss are in decline is due to loss of habitat and not due to people collecting them. Crooky Curiosity will also give £1 from each purchase to Butterfly Conservation UK. Every year, Wren raises caterpillars and releases them into the wild area close to her home in Hampshire, which is great. She has also set up butterfly gardens locally to encourage bees and butterflies to thrive. Crooky Curiosity feel it is important for everyone to try to support their own local ecosystem. The main aim of Crooky Curiosity is to provide beautiful insect specimens for you to enjoy in your own home and raise awareness of the natural world, all the while helping our local ecosystem and ecosystems around the world. So absolutely amazing. Believe it or not, my job for the past nine years, um, until recently um, I left, is was to teach kids all about conservation and sea life and rubbish and recycling, upcycling and stuff like that and conservation of natural habitat and everything. So this is kind of like dear to my heart. But this is what they've sent through. It is two five-horned rhinoceros beetles. I, I'm sorry about the reflection showing up in the thing. A pair of... Eupatorus, Eupatorus gracilicornis. Um, so you've got one in flight and one as is, and they are absolutely exquisite. Um, they're in a decent uh, clip frame, so you can get to them. And if you are worried about museum beetles, then like they say, once you've sort of cleaned and dusted inside, should you wish to or need to make any repairs, because these are delicate. And these are quite creepy, actually, because where I used to work, um, we had a room which had loads of reptiles in it that we would teach kids and adults about conservation and everything, as well as sea life. Um, and in there, we had loads of snakes. We had... Um, what are they called? Uh, millipedes, black uh, black millipedes, what are they, Chongalulu or something? Uh, millipedes in there and we had a couple of atlas beetles and we used to get them out and sort of hold them and let the kids look at them and stuff because you used to kind of find that kids learn more when they're seeing stuff as opposed to just having them in a classroom and just blah, 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 blah. When they can see things, touch things, look at things and hold things. Obviously, we were in there making sure that none of the animals or anything come to any harm. Kids and adults seem to learn more and become a lot more interested in it. So seeing something up close was a lot, lot better. But the trouble with the Atlas beetles, I don't know whether it's the same with the five horn beetles, but with the Atlas beetles, um, they hatch out from a larvae. And the larvae are ridiculously vicious. And me and my friend, one day we were cleaning out the little tank it was in and there was one of these larvae in there and they bite and they are got ridiculously strong jaws. And these kind of remind me of those. They used to kind of creep people out, but these, the way they've been mounted, 
and the way they look are just absolutely exquisite and they like I say they do loads and loads of things so I'm all for conservation teaching kids and a small little brand like Crookie Curiosity doing its hardest to try and kind of because you can ask them anything and they know they got all the information on everything and it's so nice to see people care about the environment and destruction of habitat and conservation and everything so this is simply epic their customer service with crooked curiosity um ben and remy i'm sure it's ben and remy i think it is i think is it yeah ren and ben um absolutely spot on cannot fault them at all um they put all this together their Etsy, Etsy site has so many different things on there, moths, butterflies, um, sort of pigeon skulls and beetles, all varying things. And obviously no two animals going to be exactly, or beetle or moth is going to be identical, but just absolutely brilliant. I'll just hold that up to the camera and hope you can actually see that. Everything intact, even the little barbs, even the little sort of pincers and everything. Slightly creepy, um, because it does take me back to that day where I was kind of bitten by uh, an atlas beetle larvae. Um, but yeah, absolutely fat. So much for sending these through to me. And if I stand up, all right, I'm going to hang this. Na, 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 na. In the living room. I sat there last night doing this, and I'm going to sit that just there. So. As you can see, it's now on the review room. Let me just, there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed this little review this morning. Thank you so, so much to Crooked Curiosity for sending this through. Links down below, absolutely beautiful. Um, I might get something else from them. I do like their um, pigeon skull. I might get a pigeon skull to put in underneath. Who knows? But thank you so, so much. They literally get five thumbs up from me if I have five thumbs. Um, just can't fault them whatsoever really it's really nice to see the the, the passion that they have in it um, the care the time that they're putting into what they're doing absolutely stunning thank you so so much and I hope you've enjoyed this little review this morning from me Matt the Birdie Berserker really want to keep this channel going so if there is anybody out there that needs any help support reviews done please get in touch with me I never charge for what I do because I'm just trying an old man trying his hardest to help others and show you guys that there is some stuff being made by small brands individuals and craftsmen they need as much help as they can possibly get so if you are interested please message me down below send us a message over there on instagram where i'm over there with viking beard map and yeah thank you guys so whatever you're getting up to this weekend keep on taking care of each other keep on helping each other and above all keep on loving each other because you only live once make the most of it thank you so so much to crooked curiosity links down below please be sure to give them some help and support and to let you know as well there is a flash sale on at the moment because they've just hit a thousand followers so if you're looking for something quirky something different something interesting something educational now's the time have a great one guys thank you so so much Take care of yourselves. Thank you.